We do something with Rosenberg called the realness. Okay. So Rosenberg, help us out here. Kick the realness. What we need to know from... You know what I mean? Okay, well, straight up, your man, uh, your former boy, Raz B, has said crazy things about you, fam. Literally. Again and again. Called you, he called you a pedophile. Yeah, he did. And that is, uh, respond to Raz B calling you a pedophile, man. You got to speak on that. It was a big joke to me. Like, you know, and if you think about it, if you think about the time frames when this guy starts up, it's always around my album coming out, mm. my album release, and now my movie release is coming out, so he's talking more and he's he's lying. But it's all lies, it's all BS, and you know, I mean, he just- These opportunities you're saying, like he, he only talks he, when you're about jump, to drop he something. He jumps on the, the fact of he's an attention whore, you know, and he wants that attention because B2K was huge. Everybody know how huge B2K was. Yeah. And it's like, when something like that is stripped from you, and then you can't get any fame, you know, you, you go to, the extreme measures and the dude yeah. is he's psycho so but he's also mentioning other big time stars like and Omarion and Chris you, Brown you gotta and, think about who he's mentioning for yeah. one I don't even think Raz has ever met Chris Brown you know what I'm saying Chris Brown and Raz B have no connection I know Omarion and, and, and uh, Chris Brown are really cool but like you know and then he starts mentioning about it's just like he mentioned Ray J too it's he's like who, outrageous. who hasn't he mentioned yeah. is he gonna mention that you know God did something to him next to me <laughs> you know is he on drugs or yeah Oh, he's Andro. Yeah, yeah. You could never be in the same room with him, and it would be something positive that happens. No, never, never. Uh, honestly, if I was in the same room with him, he's so crazy, he would try to probably say what's up and be like, what's up, man? Congratulations on the movie. Like, that's the kind of person he is. Mm. Oh, my God. Like, this is all, like, literally, like, publicity stunt for him. Mm. You know, he has a book. He's trying to sell a book. He's trying to do this and, yeah. and do that. The weird thing is, he's someone who benefited so much from your relationship. I mean, yeah. had it not been for... Chris Stokes and yourself, I mean, you you guys are B2K, essentially. Exactly, yeah. You know, it, it's sad because, like, you know, people don't understand that. And like I said, once it's like the Eddie Kane situation. You know what I'm saying? Eddie Kane, he, he went on drugs and the five heartbeats went and did this, and he was the only one that was just like, you know, just failed. So, you know, you, you try to come back, and he tried to come back, and I think his whole thing was, like, trying to get the group back together, and that wasn't going to happen. So he felt like maybe if I get attention this way, and you know he was he was trying to extort Chris for money. You know he asked for money a couple of times because they're cousins, and he's like, you know, I need some money. I'm wait, who's cousins? Chris Stokes and oh, I never knew that. So yeah, you know, so he was asking for money. You know, I'm on the streets right now. I need some money. And it's like you know, when that when that help is cut off, and people feel like, well, like, this is what I'm gonna say to get money, and it didn't work. Isn't that like, straight defamation of character? It is. Like it's, and I, I, you know, I sued both him and his brother and got restraining orders against them, and I won. So, you know, they. Did and he's Chris, still proceeding with the did book. Did Chris do the same thing? Um, Chris is actually in the process of doing that right now. Because if his family is different, you know? It is, you know. But, but me, I'm like, you know. It's like Snoop Dogg and RBX. Like, you know, what's going it, on exactly. there? Exactly. But, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but like I said, you know. Oh, it's, my God. To me, of course. what, what I, what I want to say to the people out there is, you know, because I, I really haven't spoken on it, you know, but because I didn't feel like the need to. But, you know, now that you brought it up. It's not true. Nothing he's ever said has been true. You know, it's all lies. It's all rumors and it's all false. But to the people out there that bought into it, shame on you. Shame. And on I you. and and should you ever run in to this guy again? There's only one way to settle this. Dance off. Dance battle, baby. Serve, bitch. <laughs> <laughs>